Hey guys, Sports Gaming Fever here, back again this time around playing some Crusader Kings 2. For those of you who already know the game or are coming to see this video because of that fact, um, you'll know it's a very entertaining strategy game on the PC by Paradox, who makes a lot of these types of games. If you're watching this video, frankly, because you're a subscriber of mine from other videos that are in no way related to anything of a PC game, um, that's what it is. Very fun game, takes place in medieval era, and this one is actually the Old Gods expansion, so even older. Uh, so we're going to actually start a campaign here, and what I thought about doing is starting over here. That's right. So, um, <clears throat> County of Ostiland, we have the County of Vestland. Probably going to start in either Vestland or Ostiland, I don't know which. But yeah, I've done a campaign um, as Iceland in uh, future times, like right starting in uh, 1066, um, and that was fun, but it's harder doing it here, and it's also cooler. Um, I think it's before Norway is trying to attack you and stuff, uh, it's cool, you're kind of starting from one county, but you're still isolated, so you still have a, a little bit of an easier path to power, I suppose. Um, you can see there's like different counts here, and we could take all these different counties possibly in the future. Now, let's see, Vestiland or Ostiland? I think Vestiland. Um, it's not Vestiland, it's Vestisland. Vestisland or Ostisland. Ah, I should probably try to pronounce that correctly. Anyway, um, yeah. I think just being just being able to be in the far left corner, the far corner of the map, and um, we should try to capture this little island here. Eventually, I think that should be the goal. Just so we have both corners of the map. Who cares about the stuff in the middle? All that matters is that corner and this corner. Anyway, uh, yeah, and we'll eventually take Osti's land anyway. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's uh, go to ruler design and let's make sure a guy doesn't look. Uh, Awful. Um, and it's stupid. Ah, he's cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. So, sure, he's fine. Uh, coat of arms. Let's not have it be a ship. Let's have it be. Yeah, sure, a wolf. I actually like those colors. Honestly, let's just keep it as that. Boom. And uh, now, let's make this guy. Oh, uh, so, educational traits. Uh, we're going to go brilliant strategist. We're going to be about conquering. So, add traits. Um... <laughs> Um, quick could be a good one. Oh, that's 15 years. Um, but sure, why not? Quick. Um, he's at 48 right now, so we probably want to bring some stuff down. Um, <clears throat> looking for green, lustful, yes. Glutinous that uh, brings down your stewardship. Um, don't know why it doesn't bring down anything else. Greedy, um, possibly brings down diplomacy, but ups the taxes. It's only bringing you down one. Slothful, yeah. Possibly, I mean, it takes away one of everything, but what did we put in? We put in quick, which I believe gives you the same age counter. I forget if it was 15 or not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that could actually be pretty good. Uh, content, uh, intrigue goes down one, and the monthly piety goes up. Like that. Arbitrary. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we probably want to be an aggressive leader. Just pursuit damage. Um, 
Yeah, let's go aggressive leader. Seems fun. Um, cruel. Ah, uh, sure. I don't mind cruel that much. Um, it's just taking years off, and that that should be good. Maybe we can actually add some that will give us some years. I don't mind doing that. Uh, proud gives us piety. Yeah, we might be good. Yeah, we're good. Alright, what are we gonna name this guy? I think we name him Garth. Garth Vestiland. Vestisland. Yes, alright. The dynasty should be. Uh, what should the dynasty be? Uh, hmm. Avanots. Avanots. Sure, that works. Okay, guys, uh, and here we go with Garth of Vestisland. Yeah, play. So this should be fun. In just one second. All right, guys, we are back. Sorry, I just needed to check something. So. We're into this game with Gartha Vestila. Oh, cool helmet. All right. So pick an ambition. Our ambition should eventually be to become the king of Norway, possibly with the future character. Um, but right now, let's focus on getting married. So with that said, let's find someone to wed. Uh, we probably want... Mm, don't want a maternal marriage, of course. Um... Matronial marriage, whatever. Um, yeah. Just someone who has good traits, honestly. Someone who we can have good babies with. Oh, uh, this person will give us a lot of babies, honestly. Um, attractive priest, so their intrigue is down, their learning is up. Not very good stats. I mean, they are lustful, that's why they'll give us a lot. Um, this person's a bit more proven. Ambitious, which is a good trait to give brave. Um, trouble. Honestly, early on, we're not really looking at the best people. We're just looking for the most, um, the most children we can have, and that's what this person's gonna give us. So we'll do that. Now, are we Norse? We are Norse. Which means we can raid, I'm pretty sure, which is great. We don't have boats, do we? Oh, well, no, we do have boats, that's good. And there are some mercenaries available. Now, I want to see, wait, me. can we just declare war on you? Uh, subjugation of Norway. Now, that's good. Yeah, we can just use that, why not? Now, um, cool, so we want me to declare war on that guy. How many troops does he have? He has 393. I have a whopping 325. Uh, so he has more than me, obviously. Um, but that's okay. We will get more. And we're going to do that by... Well, first of all, let's get some better uh, relations growing. Uh, spy network, we'll spy there. And religious... Ness, I will go over here. I'm pretty sure that's like our religious capital or whatever. Um, some sort of spiritual land of sorts. Anyway, um, so what are we gonna do? We got our council set up. We got a laws. Or, eh. We'll set those larger. Intrigue, uh, hold a blot. Yeah, we don't have any uh, prisoners yet, though, so that's kind of difficult. It kills prisoners for us uh, in a manner that we get piety, which is great. Um. Ooh, now we can raise 578 since we did that city levy thing, which is great. So let's wait for that to kick in. Now we should be getting some wealth per turn, or per turn. Oh god, uh, prestige. I'd rather prestige there. It's only one gold. Um. Fulfilled an ambition, sweet. Um, we should be getting some gold per month. 
should be in the green I'm hoping so ambitions next one should be to have a son we want a son obviously good so we're getting uh, about 50, uh, 0 0.52 gold per month yep okay so it's not bad could be better but we'll get the additional gold from our uh, steward who is collecting taxes um so it's we're gonna want to oh, soon focus on taking these guys out he's at 450 at the moment so he increased his uh max levies a famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles give him page minutes lose i'm getting very proud Humble. You. Hmm. I like the prestige, man. I like the prestige. Uh, let's see. Nice. Some more troops coming in now. Well, we'll be able to come in anyway. So just wait to hire the rest of those guys and we'll be good. Um. So it's kind of playing the waiting game here. Hopefully he doesn't attack us before we're ready. I doubt he will attack us this this early. Uh, you usually wait a couple of years. They usually need to get settled too. Like, does this guy even have family? Uh, yeah, he does. He has a 17 year old child. Me, however, do not um have any children. But we should soon. She should be pregnant soon. What is she? Yeah, she's 19. Okay. Um. All right, we're at 529. Should we just declare war now? Yeah, we should. I think we should. Um. So. Well, first let's take a concubine. You have no concubines. That'd be just a girl we get to impregnate, really. Weren't they so nice to women back then? Okay, um. Raise that levy. Go. We're worse on the defense, so. We want to be on the. Yeah, we are Garth. Yeah. We're best on the offense, remember. So we want to attack rather than defend as much as possible. Because the morale, we get a morale boost. Um, Roth gives us plus three martial, minus one intrigue, and minus one diplomacy. Uh, diplomacy, what am I talking about? Diplosity, what the hell is that? Okay. And our pursuit is better too, which means something. Probably chasing after people, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know how that comes into effect. But anyway, let's continue the attack. While their morale is still low. Keep chasing them. His opinion is getting better on us, which is uh, pretty funny. Alright, um... We should become a duke after we get this, because this is like a, a duchy, right? A duchy? Yeah, it's a duchy. It's Iceland, man. All right. Actually, I believe we could become king of Iceland after this, which is a pretty nice title. All right, master of terrain, focus on cavalry, focus on light foot, focus on... Ah, master of terrain. What? So her wife already died, really? Okay. So much for that. Sure, you have the best stats. Let's just go with you. Can we take anyone as a concubine? Yeah, you could be a concubine. Cool. 
Wow, our wife already died. That's depressing. It's, pre it's not like we really loved her, did we? Highly doubt it. It's, it's too short of a time. Yeah, three gold or fifty prestige. Prestige. Although our money is going down, so we're gonna want to speed up this war, aren't we? Instead of basically pacing. Um. That is what we're doing here, isn't it? Um. Come on. Get him. Really? Just don't want to die. Just wasting my time. Come on. Oh, good. My wife is pregnant. Officer. Oh, okay, he got really excited that he had a new wife. I guess. I don't know. Um. Oh my god. Let's speed this up. Can we like raise taxes? Oh. Not at the moment. Okay, good, that's all. Alright. Let's go try to take this. If we can't, we have to wait. Which costs money. But oh well. And we can't take it because they have... Oh my god, really? That's the amount of defenders they have. This army should grow, though. Come on. Nice, a daughter. Um, which actually, son, come on, how about a son? Uh, who much should we name her? We have Garth. Um, I'll just go with Rakissa. Why not? Weird ass name, man, but Kissa it is. Uh, I'm not in a creative mood at the moment. Uh, obviously. Now, I don't know what, how it works if we disband these people. And then we want to hire more. bring it to 311 again. We're gonna wait. Cool. Don't really care about those religious things this early. Um, too early for mercenaries to begin. Afford anything. Um, our gold is going up though. That guy should be training more troops. Come on. Okay, there we go. And that should be enough to take it. I hope. Let's go. Oh, and they keep growing. She's pregnant again, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. We're going to wait this out. And we're gonna lose all our gold. Ugh, just dismiss, dismiss you. God dang it. Alright, just grow to 6 on 11 and then we'll be fine. Oh crap, he built up an army now. Hmm. <sighs> oh well. See how this goes. In the meantime, we are growing uh, our economy. Meanwhile, he's coming back just because we've been at war for so long and we haven't been winning. Uh, I mean, we have been winning, but another daughter. Come on. Daughter name. What's a friend daughter name? Martha. Sure. Oh, come on. 
Um, need this number to grow. 330, wow. Just like, jumped to almost 100. Playing the waiting game can be boring, but it usually pays off. Because in the meantime of growing an army, we're also growing our economy. Which is quite good, um, honestly. Oh no, I'm ill. Alright, 401. 416, whatever. Good. Good enough. He's coming. But we're coming fast. Okay, we're good. Brings him to 50. No. Wait. Yeah, let's just take this while we can. He can't take that, and then we'll just attack him, and we'll be fine. Doing things in a good order this time around. Our spy master died. And he's leading troops. Which is not something a spy master should be doing. And we took that and so offer peace and force demands, yes. Uh huh. Oh, we can't be king. Bummer, alright. Yeah, we're not king. Ah, uh, but we are Vestisland. Oh, that's cool. That's like our country now. Awesome. Our nation, whatever. Um, nice. And now we get more reinforcements. Right. Okay. Um, now we get more. Coinage. All right. Ah, uh, city taxation. Yeah. Gives us more money, man. Something we obviously want. People will get angry, but who the hell cares? I don't have any vassals, do I? Nope. I mean, the the people uh, were my council, but still. Most of them actually like me, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, you shouldn't be doing that anymore. You should be setting claim. Actually, wait a second. Don't have a gas spell here. Are you guys just independent? Oh, is he just independent? Aha, uh -huh, he is independent. So, let's get a Cass's Belly going over here. And we'll just take these small islands and be conquerors. And yay, conquering. That's how we do it. We can go on, uh, like, raids, too, which could be fun. Um... Now that costs money, doesn't it? Let me just raise the fleet really quick. Actually, that doesn't cost too much. Just that that costs more, which is the weird part. Um, but you know, having ships as n the Norse is beneficial. Uh, I mean, it costs less, basically. Um, and then end it pooped. Okay. I don't even know how to do that. Ah, oh, yeah, she's pregnant again. Jesus Christ. Horny little bastards. Alright, um. <laughs> 
we've been at peace for too long. As a pagan, if we're at peace for too long, we lose a bunch of freaking things, so... There's two prestige every month for being at peace and doing no raiding, so we should do some raiding. Apparently that's what that means. Boosh. Seven ships is perfect. So we gotta go raid some people. Honestly, just rather everyone under my control here. Boom, and uh, you are now raiders, or looters, sorry. Get on the ship. And sail here. Now, how much, how many men? Run away! Situation which became more and more intimidating with an outcome that could mean life or death. I swallowed hard and decided what I would do. If you can stay put in fight, you can become brave. Okay, awesome. Why wouldn't you decide to become brave? <laughs> Alright, but what was I doing? Ah, yes. Seeing how many men you have. 162. So we should be fine. Nice, he had a son, good, and uh, his name is going to be... I need to look this up really quick. Um... Lineage? Maybe that's what that's called, right? Lineage. Lineage, Wikipedia. Alright. There we go. Um. I don't know. Crap. See, does it go Garth, then Garth the first, then Garth the second, or does it go Garth, then Garth the second? I think it goes Garth the second, obviously. I mean, it seems obvious, but I'm not 100% sure, but let's have him be Garth the second. Need new ambition. Amass wealth from all this rating. Good rating. Um. Guess we'll go here. Oh, you've already been raided. Well, go here. Let's go back to the ship and bring back gold. And we could still get about 30 more gold. So I guess we'll do that. Alright, yeah, that guy's getting us. Um, with the religious whatever influence, something like that. Uh, relations, that's what that's called. Alright, that was rated. I'm gonna take this a bit slower. Wait, this is the saying it was already taken? Okay. Alright, this is plenty of all. Alright. And when you're done, we'll go back to the ship. Oh, 
so that was a success. I don't know why you want to just go here and then out. But, uh, yeah. What? Why didn't you get any more? I don't know. I'll see. Let's head back. So it's costing us to have those guys out there. So hopefully we made a profit. Which I guess we did. Uh, either way, we saved our prestige, so that's important. It's important enough. And now we're getting exactly one gold. Awesome. So yeah, probably wrapping up this video in the next couple of minutes. But so far, so good, guys. Um... do have no vassals which is interesting enough um we do have both of these now and those guys are raising troops so when they're at full that should be nice um be nice to build some holdings but probably not gonna do that for a while focusing on getting some coinage for some gold and yeah uh that seems about it guys so Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.